Hi, everybody. I have just noticed something and I don't know what I'm going to find. So let's let's do this together. I'm really curious. I was looking at Thomas John's Facebook page. Now, this is Thomas John's Facebook page, his, not, not like some seatbelt psychic page or anything like that. This is the one he posts on. And I don't, you tell me, what do you think is going on here? Let's, let's check it out. Okay. Let's look this over together. Cause I'm, I'm curious what you guys are going to think of this. So here is his Facebook page, right? Okay. This is it. This is his real one. And you know, it's really his because it says 159,000 followers and he's only following 45 people. So you can tell it's not fake because these are real followers right here. Well, I don't know if they're all real followers, but they are um, uh, people. It's not like a fake account that was just created and has like three followers, but has stolen the photos off of his, his site. So if you look at this, he's he has posted this thing. Now he's posted this many times in a lot of places because he's getting overrun with fake accounts that are pretending to be him. So he says, under no circumstance do you send Zelle, Cash App, Venmo, or Apple Pay for a reading. Respond to anyone who comments on your comment on my page and says they have a reading for you. Communicate with anyone on direct message, no matter how similar it looks to my profile. The only way to ever purchase a reading or event with me is to go to medium.com, mediumthomas.com and click on events. Okay, so this is his little thing he's, he's putting up everywhere because he's I don't know what the heck's going on, but he's getting absolutely overwhelmed. Now, I have heard him say that what the problem is, is that he's having, he has a full-time person working on getting rid of the spam, but he says that they just can't keep up. Now, I don't know about that. Check this out. Okay, so here we go. This is from January 10th. It's an advertisement put up to take online courses with Thomas John. So there's 42 comments. I don't know how many we can see. Sometimes what it is, is it just lets you see some. I've, I've changed it to all comments. How do you know spiritual gift? Send me a private message. So this is Queen Tarot. So these are these, these spammers that are either pretending to be him or they're trying to get you to go in and click on um, their link and send a message, trying to steal it from them. But still, you would think these people would be banned. I don't care how many there are. You should you should be banning them pretty regularly. It's not hard. You just come over here, hit the little dots, and you hit report comment, or you just come in and just go ban, 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 ban that kind of thing. Uh, so that's not happening. This is over a week old. Um, here's another one. Your page seems all based off money and bookings. I'm sorry to see that. I would expect it to be something else. I'm a huge follower of you, meaning I've watched season one. Well, there is only season one. There is no season two. He never got picked up again. I just checked you out and I'm a little disappointed. You need to put more meat in your pie. <laughs> and I can't get any of the others. That's a week old. Hi, can you please check your scheduled Zoom meetings? I was booked for one 40 minutes ago and your phone goes to messages. Thanks for your previous replies. <laughs> Queen Tarot says, send me a message. Here's another one. Hey, beautiful love and light to you. Sending positive. Yes, inbox me right now. Okay, family hurt me. Nothing happens to him. Oh, this is the same one that was earlier. Here's a Thomas John fake again. Click on my picture here. Send me a message directly. I received some special energy. Oh, that should be banned. That should be banned. That's that's over a week old. Okay, uh, here's another one. I will forever be grateful. This is another spammer. Ladies love spell. That's not banned. James Hydrick love spells, not banned. Here's somebody who says, help me. This one says, click on my picture here, send me a message. Another, this one's calling themselves Seatbelt Psychic. If you mouse over it, you'll see they've got four followers. Page public fear, 59,000 followers. 45 followers. Hmm. I don't know about that. Uh, follow Thomas on this group. And he's got a little arrow down. Let's see what else is on here. Here's an advertisement for his spiritual circle, Morristown, New Jersey with Thomas John, August 4th. That's really way in advance, right? 39 comments. 
and let's change it to all comments. But again, it won't show me all comments. There was a scheduled phone call from you today, but no call. I emailed your company asking for a refund for, for responses. Thomas John's celebrity medium. You can contact me on Facebook Messenger. That's an option. Where is your messenger option located on profile? Because it's not. It's it's somebody faking it. They're just faking his uh, account. If you email his admin, they will make this right for you. Oh, yeah, I bet they will. I had an issue with a delay and Thomas took care of it. I know it's super frustrating and disappointed, but he's also human. And I'm sure things come up. I was freaking out when he didn't get mine thinking I'd been scammed, but I was not. He was on point with everything he said. And I promise he's worth the hassle of rescheduling. Contact the admin. They're great. I promise. Sure. I've heard every excuse. Can you imagine? You have no idea how many times I have heard that the plane was delayed. The weather was bad. The internet's off. The dog's uh, at the vet. My luggage was lost. Um, I'm sick. I have COVID. My stepfather was in the hospital you name it. I've heard everything. And I think anybody who's had to deal with Thomas John has heard these same things too. I most definitely will. Advertising is illegal. Don't take appointments if you can't make them and waste everybody's time. It's cunning and unethical. Love spells. Oh, here. I took a lot of energy from your picture. I'd like to give you some insight. Um, I'm the customer. Okay. Thomas John. Medium Thomas John. Medium. I'm the customer, not the other way. I do not want your services. I left a voicemail on office machine that said you were all out until the 24th of January. Wow. That was a couple of days ago from when I'm filming this right now and still making false appointments. Nice. Just return my $222. I paid for you to ghost me at 15 minutes of your time. Blah. So that's person. April is pretty upset. Well, and the person she's responding to, Medium Thomas John Medium, is a fake account. So she's faking to a, speaking to a fake account, and that looks like it might have been banned because see, it's not it's not um, giving me anything here. Nope, oh, there it is. Which one is it? I don't know. It gets confusing. I have the receipts. Okay. Hey, beautiful, love and light to you. I mean, these people are just feeding off of off of um, the people who are grieving and, and think they're talking to the right person. I, I just don't get it. I almost got scammed until I figured out it really wasn't you. It wasn't really you. <laughs> um, but they literally just told me I was going to lose my daughter in the next seven hours. That's one of these spammers doing that to trying to get money out of them. Another one, I recommend reading his BBB rating. I wished I would have before spending my money just to be told I was scammed by somebody else. And I subscribed to his website and received emails with discounts. So I paid, received two emails confirming, and it's 100% his website and excuses are being made. Well, I hear this all the time. These aren't, so the people who are being, who are booking readings, they're not, um, they're booking readings legitimately through his website. Some of these people are months or a year in advance and they're not getting their readings. And then whenever it comes to the day of the readings, they're getting rescheduled or ghosted and then they're not getting refunded. So, so there's two different, there's two different things going on here. You've got, well, three different things. There's Thomas John himself and he's, he is, I guess, doing some readings. And then there's the other group of people who are booking these readings because of the emails and that are being sent out to book, to book, to book. I get um, one or two a day telling me there's a discount on reading if I want to book $22, $100, telling me where he's going to be at next. I mean, I, I'm flooded by him. And they're coming from Thomas John's Inc., not, not a spammer. And then the third column here is people who are spammers who are pretending to be Thomas John and people fall for it because it has the same profile name or close to it has the same photos and they want to believe right they want to get this reading and somebody responds saying hey you know i'm sorry about that here just i'll give you a reading really quick in your in private message or send me some more money or whatever and then there i guess there's a fourth column are people who are who are seeing people post saying i'd like a reading 
And they're like, well, hey, 20 bucks. I'll give you a reading right now. Let's go. It's a wild, wild west out there. Huh. Okay, here's here's another one that um, makes me really wonder because this is, now some of these are people posting more than once. So you'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. And, oops, this was the one I went. My, oh, my mom was meant to be in a call with you right now. She paid a lot of money and spent a year waiting for this reading, which apparently, I'm reading this one right here, which apparently a lot of other people have too and have been disappointed time and time again. We adored watching you. My mom trusted you to connect with her mom. I can't express how much it meant to her to get time with you. She was sat around waiting for your call, waiting so desperately to hear any messages at all from her mom. We loved your book. We even shared it around the family. This is beyond disgusting. I'm posting reviews everywhere I can. And here's somebody who says, would you like a, would you like a second greeting? Same person posting it. I mean, they're just posting post after post after post after post. This one says, Debbie Allen Gibson Moore Merchant. Merchant. Thank you. And please know my Facebook, like most public Facebooks, has information that can likely help anyone do a reading. Oh, that's interesting. So this person is responding to one of the spammers, which is odd. Why would you respond to them? Here's another one. This one says, help me. And this one says, message me. And that's a spammer. Um, again, why are these still here? Here's a private one-on-one -on -one readings with Thomas John in Los Angeles, Hollywood. And what does it say? It says you can get March 12th, which is a couple months. I wonder where I should go. It's a two-hour in-person spiritual circle with Thomas John will deliver messages. It's limited to eight people. So it's just exactly like uh, one of my, uh, Operation Onion Ring with the children, eight people. We paid $400 a person. So this is in person, though. You'd have to go in person. He has to have those so that I, I won't show up. <laughs> I don't have to show up, Thomas. I have people who will go and you won't be able to tell that they're, you won't be able to tell the difference. I have, I have had more hands up of people who volunteer to go and I have the money to send them. So watch out. You never know who you might be talking to and we will be recording. Um, here's the same one, the same woman. She's upset. She's posting the same thing. Um, and here's another person who's, this is another spammer, lady love spell, same thing. That's been here a week. And this one here that she's so upset, that's been there for four days. Um, is this the same one? Yeah, here's here's the same. Per okay, here's a Fresno, California. He's going to be in Fresno. Same thing. This is the same woman. She's posting this. It's been here for four days. Nobody's responded. New Orleans with Thomas John. I mean, how lame. January 10th, he put this out and he's got how many followers? Let's look at this a second. He's got 159,000 followers and he puts out posts January 10th. One share? You've got 159,000 followers and you get one share? And most of the comments are people who are spamming. Seven different like responses here's another one 16 responses one share uh, let's look and see if we can find something that's a little more this one is spend a vip day with thomas in hollywood california a great way to start january uh 2024 enjoy a special day with thomas john in person six responses one share and that sure says no public share so we don't even know if it was from Thomas John's own team sharing it to like a Facebook page for Seatbelt Psychic or I don't know. No comments. Why are there no comments? Let's click on the link. I'm offering you the opportunity to have the, a fun day with me. It's a face-to-face -face opportunity with me in person. Eight hours, eight hours of spiritual coaching, intuition, training readings and includes everything that I teach in a spiritual aspect. I will be sharing with you the knowledge I've gained in over 15 years of doing spiritual coaching and readings. I want to share my knowledge with you. How much is this? Hollywood, California. 
If you prefer that I come to where you live, we can make travel arrangements. Travel expenses vary. This is a rare opportunity. Okay, a personal diagnostic evaluation of your current spiritual, emotional, and mental well-being. Woo! Multiple healing and energy exercises that would be practiced together. This is just kind of kinky. I don't know. Our time together will help you get your energy being from being blocked. A fabulous, healthy lunch where you can ask me questions and receive a swag bag of spiritual goodies. It's a $500 value. Uh, learn how to see your own and others' auras. One follow-up 30-minute call 60 days after our meeting is completed. How much? How much? How much? Here's his people I guess he's had pictures with in the past. How much? Pay in full. How much? $5? $10,000. You got to be effing kidding me. I don't think I'd pay $10 to spend the day with him. Ooh, $10,000. VIP day, commit now. So you have to put down $1,000 to put down a deposit. We will put together a payment structure for you. The deposit is non-refundable. Wow. How many do you think he's going to sell? Does it say an actual day? No, it's just he's going to arrange a day. $10,000. Give me a break. All right, here he has uh, swipe out, swipe through his app. Um, he's got all these classes. I I had just read, written an article um, called on Skeptical Inquiry. It was published in January, and it is about what I don't know about mediumship yet that I, I'm still learning. And one of the things that I mentioned in that article, I'll put it in the description underneath this video if you'd like to check it out, is that I I really have become to understand after listening to so many readings, not not just from Thomas John, but many psychics. And what they these mediums do is they push these classes on mostly women, mostly stay-at-home kind of women who are trying to make a second income. I mean, it, it can be pretty expensive to um, stay home with your child. And they push these things here, a lot of these classes and stuff. Connecting spirit through automatic writing, understanding soul contracts, psychic development, online courses, and they can be quite expensive. But it seems like they're being they're being uh, grifted off of, and they're and when you hear the mediums talk to these women, they say, "I know you're psychic. I can feel it. I offer classes," and then they'll also say things like. You know, you were taking classes and your loved one, your person in spirit is saying, you need to get back to that. We know you got this gift. They want you to come back and become, become a medium yourself. Oh, let's see what these look like. Mm, two likes. And one of the likes is from another medium, psychic soul, Kim, psychic medium. No shares, no comments. And that's in January to March. Here's one called Match Made in Heaven, a three-hour course that will energize you to find the one, the one what? February 3rd, time from 12 to 3. There's no link to click on to get you to the events page. Oh, I guess we have to go over here. What do these cost? January 2024 courses. Um, here's a whole bunch. All right. $45. Should we go? Would you guys like to go with me? Who wants to go? Um, I'll I'll buy. And um, forty five dollars. This one's thirty dollars. Understanding soul contracts and life review. Oh, twenty two hundred and fifty dollars. This is a spiritual entrepreneurial course with medium Thomas. It's April. It's online. Doesn't even have a day. Um, automatic writing thirty bucks. Online style, $20, an evening with spirit. And he's going to laugh. You know he looks smarter with glasses. $20. He's, he's busy. Oh, here's this woman, Cheryl Murphy. Check out my 
check out the the playlist I have of Cheryl Murphy. Wow. February 8th, maybe I should attend. I've already gone to a whole bunch of Cheryl Murphy stuff. I've subscribed to her on YouTube and wow. So um, check it out, you know, here, what else we got? San Bernardino, that's not too far from me. Six, six reactions, one share. San Diego, four reactions, no shares. I will never send you any communication ever on Messenger, Facebook Messenger or TikTok. 129 uh, responses, one share. Okay. He felt so raw to me in the beginning, but I feel like it's so money booking driven that it makes me sad. Says Vandy. What else is on here? Oh, this is a spam. We've seen this one, the spam comment come up multiple times. Um, wow, $400. I'm poor. I wish I could have gotten one of your taxis when you were in Los Angeles giving them for free. Oh, please. Click on the picture to join the private group on Facebook. He was giving free rides, free taxi rides. Right. No, well, nope, not quite. 14 Terrytown looks like he's going all doing an awful lot of traveling to do a two hour in person spiritual circle. What do these cost if you were to go to this place? March 9th. Um, you're guaranteed to receive a reading, it's limited to 10 people, and there will be time for questions. Yeah, we've attended a bunch of these, but I've attended them online. $375. Two of them he's got set up. So what is that? 10 people at $375. So $3,750. $3,750. So six, seven. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Seven, just under $8,000 he's going to get in a day. But you know what? He's not going to get that. You think he's got 20 people in uh, Temecula, California, that want to come out and get readings at $375. You notice now, I want you to notice there's no location on here. No location. And that is one of those questions I've gotten so many times. Not questions, but I've I've read the complaints. People say they've signed up for a reading. A lot of times they'll be at a gallery reading and he, and he or his assistant will say, sign up now. We have something coming up wherever usually another virtual meeting or not always a virtual meeting, but in some area, if you join now, you're going to get it for half price, a hundred dollars or whatever. So people will tell me that they book that and it, and, and it's on a specific day in a specific town, but they're not given a location. And when they try to get the location, they're told, no, we're not going to give you a location. We haven't booked it yet, or we'll, we'll send out the instructions later. And that seems to be, and I don't know if it's always true, but it seems to be a telltale sign it's not going to happen because what we the complaints I'm seeing are from people who are saying that that was the thing they kept emailing saying well where do I go you know I know it's uh Temecula but where what, when am I going to get my notification oh we'll let you know oh we're still booking the place you know that kind of stuff and then they say I, I kept emailing them and I never did find the place and then it was canceled I guess because there was nothing nothing there Thomas John, private one-on-one. -on -one. Again, seven responses. This is January 13th, so this should have already happened. Lots of one-on-ones. What is the cost for a one-on-one -on -one for a half an hour? Page not found. Okay. How about this one? Page not found. How about this one? Page not found. These are old old ones though you know i mean it's been a week so maybe he's just gotten rid of the page thomas john is going to be in chicago now this is his hometown i believe or no he's manhattan where was he raised manhattan but he lived in chicago for a very long time he's going to be in chicago only one spot left this is going to be february 22nd six responses eight comments okay what do we see here Oh, it's the same spammer it's been here. Thank you so much for letting me know all that information because I was getting majorly spammed. Do you ever come to Orange County? Is that really you on TikTok? 
uh, tarot reading chat me for your full reading and here's another spam so i don't know who she's responding to but it's two weeks old i do not under any circumstances ever so it's the same post she does all the time virtual call january 13th today's the 26th so this must have already passed again here's a spam fresno again he's posted in the same place same post twice for fresno uh, these are all duplicates of things i've already seen meet me in new york city only one share in eight um check out my events in 2024 just added new york city some weirdo just tried to offer me a reading posing as you i reported it well lady that you <laughs> no comment no comment this isn't be nice no ad hominem attacks okay now these get a lot look when you post these things saying you are never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream c.s lewis never okay 307 reactions 102 comments 40 shares so these are the kinds of things that you see some reactions on and you'll see some posts amen well said i love this thank you all it's nice to be reminded um more spam let me go to comments all uh, beautifully said thank you i mean it almost makes you think that it's not human beings but more like uh, bots thank you it's nice to be reminded beautifully said my friend i'm at the point there is no point true well said i love this true amen i guess they do a lot of these uh inf influencers put these out to kind of try to oh i'm sorry i wasn't even sharing my screen <laughs> so sorry it's you're not missing much let me just show it really quick it's these the little inspirational things that a lot of these influencer types will put out every so often i've seen this happen on a lot of the different mediums never you're never old enough too old to set another goal or dream and these look like as i was saying sorry they look like a lot of just are they real are they i don't know they might be word amen thumbs up a heart yes i am praying hands i don't know nevada illinois illinois Bellevue Spiritual Circle. 21, four comments. What do you think? <laughs> okay, what do you have for me? My name is Sue. Private private chat me for your full reading. <laughs> Again, the, they're not deleting these comments. What is your 2024 goals? Comment them below. January 3rd few more comments 16 only 16 and 57 comments my goal is to make it through one foot in front of the other spending more time with my children positive inform transformation taking one day at a time so sad i can't afford a reading i'm the last of my family i went to cross over to be with them I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of people out there who are really in bad shape. They are in very bad shape. And these mediums are not helping at all. How is that helping? One week ago, nobody followed up with her because this is somebody who's very in bad shape, probably. Work on breaking down the spiritual barrier I made as a child. Trying to get custody of my grandson from an abusive guardian and be the owner of my childhood home. View reply. Private chat me for your full reading. Rest. No real, no real community here. Right outside my door. Thank you, spirit. Oh, what are those? Um, garbage bins. It's trash day wherever he's at. Seven hundred um, um, responses. Sixty nine responses comments how beautiful thank you i asked my spirit guide to send me a rainbow 
Thomas John just sent us a picture of a rainbow and some trees and a um his garbage bins. So I don't I I I would think that's not your spirits guy. Amazing picture. Oh, there's another rainbow up here too. You can hardly see them. Perfect picture. I just love a rainbow. Steve Hart. Hi, we just here. Can you see this? Hi, we have just lost our son, age only 22. I'm so I'm desperately looking for signs he's with me in spirit. Please can you tell me what signs I need to look out for? No response. Simply beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, here's from Sue Riley. Thomas John, you said you had a feeling of something with me. What was it? I'm going through hectic times in my life. I don't need any more bad news. Thank you, Sue. You can call me if you like. I'm not paying for any kind of reading and leave a message. Thank you. <laughs> I like Sue. Should we call her? No, I'm only kidding. My cat died. Please tell me he's okay on the other side. I miss him so much. Ooh, more spam. Um, How long does it take? Oh, this is from the same guy, Steve Hart, who lost his 22-year-old son. How long does it take to go to God if you take your own life? Oh, damn. Oh, man. I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't want to do this job for nothing. Oh, here's his, here's his uh, nieces. His uh, sister takes a lot of really adorable pictures of the nieces. I was in this business for 34 years taking pictures. Ah, wishing everyone a happy, healthy, and abundant year. 2024 is an eight year in numerology, which is a powerful number re representing abundance, balance, and success. 244 comments, almost 700 reactions. My new website is launching for 2024. Let's zoom together. Oh, check it out. I haven't seen this. Here's his new website. Okay. They're selling out quickly. Today's the 26th. Nothing here. Let's check for January and February availabilities. Um, email two questions. Medium or psychic? $149. So mediumship would be he's communicating with a dead person. Psychic would be like, what do you see in my love life? Or what's in my future? $5,000 VI paid P day pay in two payments. Here's that pay in full $10,000. I would love that. I would pay $10,000. I, I think I could see paying $10,000 if it was filmed and that would be uh, released. Don't dare forget as you're welcoming a new you, that's a whole lot about the old you that is keep worth keeping. Mary, she says late night. I can't Sleep thinking about my mom being sick so i went into the lifetime app and i'm watching your show you're absolutely amazing none of the links that are working for me thank you for the connections you make you are a blessing here's thomas john i guess his boyfriend december 31st or husband i don't know Well, anyway, you guys, I'm really interested in your thoughts. I didn't know what to expect. I saw like a couple of posts and I thought I would just go ahead and make a video. This is, it's interesting, right? Because we've been hammering Thomas John for a very long time and he has a huge amount of people, women, who are very upset at him. Two Facebook groups with a bunch of people on there who are adamant about getting their money back. They're trying all kinds of different things that they could do to get their money back and so far sometimes they get it and sometimes most times they don't and it doesn't look like anybody's really doing they're not i don't know it feels like they're checked out are these people manage is there somebody who's managing his social media because i'm not seeing it because posts up there for over a week and obvious spam i mean I know that the person is posting and posting and posting and posting, but if you if you block them once, then all the other posts and all will go away. That would say there wasn't that many, unless there's hundreds and all we're seeing is just one and there are hundreds of different accounts. I don't know, but it just seems like 
If you're running a business, which is what he's doing, you clean that out because all those people that are spamming like that are, are trying to take away your clientele and it hurts your reputation because a lot of these women think that they're actually talking to Thomas John, even though he keeps making these posts, like saying, don't, don't contact these people. As soon as that spam occurs, it needs to be removed. And it, not doing it, it looks like he's not looking out for his clients and the people who are obviously in, in great need of some sort of contact with their loved ones. I, you know, that's, that's something I obviously don't believe in, but um, people who are grieving and vulnerable, I don't think we need to further them with um, spam from, from people who are making up fake accounts of his or other spiritual readings, tarot, whatever. I, I don't think it's a good look for your brand. And I, I think it's further harming people that believe in you and trust you just doesn't feel right i don't know what's going on is is there something happening in the thomas john world uh leave me your comments i'd sure like to hear what you have to say